Have you ever thought of what you would do with your money or your investments if a recession or a market dip happens today? Managing your money during a recession or a market dip is very important. I still remember during the COVID-19 pandemic how I used to calculate my spendings on a daily basis using an Excel sheet and avoided spending even a single penny on the things that I had no need for. Economic downturns and recessions happen every few years. And for that, I'm here with this video to prepare you for these kind of situations financially. So here are three ways which I am using to help me manage my money during economic downturns. Number one, reassess your financial situation. It's always important to go back and check your financial situation carefully. Check how much you've saved, what's the status of your emergency fund, how much you are spending on a monthly basis and on what things. Once you have all the information, you need to closely look at the unnecessary spendings and start cutting them down to save even more money. Number two, track your debt. During recession, you should avoid taking on more debt as the interest rates tend to be higher than usual. And if you already have debt, prioritize paying off the high interest rate debt first as down the line, interest rates can increase further if the recession gets even worse. Number three, Try keeping your investments alive. People usually tend to assume if the market crashes, we will cash out all our investments so that they don't have to take on more losses. But the thing you need to understand is all of the losses on your investments are on paper. And yes, the investment value will be way less than what you had thought of. But once the market gets back, your investments will start to grow again and it's possible that they will provide you with additional returns as well. Additionally, if you have some excess funds saved, a recession can be a good time to invest that money because you will have the chance to invest in a security at a time when it's way cheaper to do so and then see it grow exponentially. And here are the three ways in which you can manage your money during an economic crisis. Comment down below on how you managed your money during the COVID-19 pandemic and what you could have done differently. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss more videos related to personal finance. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for tuning in today.